Welcome inside the video room. I am Gareth Wheeler coming off a Toronto FC 4 nothing victory over the Los Angeles Galaxy. There's plenty that we've covered over the weeks. It seems repetitive at times, showing the exploits of a Victor Vasquez, just how good, how intelligent a player he is. We've discussed Toronto FC's wide play, which was big on the night in Los Angeles as well, with Hasler and Morrow wreaking havoc on the Los Angeles Galaxy defensive line. But for this episode of the video room, let's focus on the defensive play. Yes, the defensive play, which sounds a little bit weird considering how many goals Toronto FC is scoring, but it's the defensive play and the way that Toronto FC gets out in transition that is leading to Toronto FC goals. And it starts with the back three. Chris Mavinga, Drew Moore, Eric Zavaleta, and when Jason Hernandez came in, we're all over the place in a good way over the course of the night, setting the tone, setting the tempo from the back. Let's flash back to the first goal of the game. It came from a free kick, but how the free kick was set up was Eric Zavaleta winning the ball, it, sticking with his man, pressing high with the rest of the unit. It's one thing when the high players, the players across the front line are pressing high, but you need the back three to stick with their men as well. Zavaleta forces the turnover, comes on the foot of toss eight rickets. He's fouled, leading to the free kick that sets up the first goal. It's that kind of pressure from the back that creates that loss of possession and Toronto FC just so quick getting out, getting after it from that point on. And by the way, a defender ends up scoring the first goal of the match. Skip ahead to the third Toronto FC goal. It comes off a Los Angeles Galaxy throw in deep in their own end. Toronto FC like they typically do. They press high. The ball comes long and this time it's Jason Hernandez forcing the loss of possession. Some tic-tac-toe, some one-touch football. Great through ball by Jonathan Azorio to Victor Vasquez. Sets up toss eight rickets for the goal. It just shows you how quickly defense turns into offense. But if Hernandez isn't right there giving the attacking player no room whatsoever to deal with that ball isn't turned over that way and Toronto FC aren't free to break out the way they did so a shout out to Jason Hernandez and it's not just pressing high that Toronto FC's back line is doing a job let's take a look at TFC's second goal and it starts from the back as more and more teams kind of park the bus and hang back you need the critical balls played out of the back and this time it comes to Eric Zavaleta and Zavaleta plays a great ball to Nico Hasler the ball is pace it's the right angle Hasler's able to continue his run it's just a wonderful pass played out of the back by a player who's playing in the back three we've seen it from Drew Moore in recent weeks. Chris Mavinga has been outstanding. We've seen it from him as well. This time it's Zavaleta's turn. So as much as we look at the goals that are scored and give a lot of praise to players like v Vasquez and Ricketts and rightfully so for the performance in Los Angeles, everything with this Toronto FC team starts from the back. The clean sheet, that is a team award, a team recognition, as are the goals scored. A tip of the cap, a shout out to the Toronto FC backline for doing their job and doing it very well in the 4-0 win.